Well, good evening, everyone. Hope everybody's had a lovely day. So we ended up having 21 hatch out of here. And still got one more in here pipped. I cleaned, I took them out this morning and put them in the brooder. I had one inside here. It hatched, but it did not make it. So, so far, it's about 50-50 hatch at this point. Even if that other one hatches, it's still going to be like 51% hatch rate. Granted, these eggs were a little bit older. I want to wait till I get a good mess of them before, you know, taking the time to run the incubator. So, <clears throat> these are pretty well done. So, I'm waiting on that to see if that other one will hatch off. Give it another couple days, see what happens. In the meantime, in case anybody's got a, this is a Nurture Right 360. You can see right there. If anybody's wanting any quail egg turners, uh, you can go to Etsy, look up the Farming Bunker, and that's where I got these from, and uh, they work great. I got them both in red. That's, I mean, you can get different colors, but this is what... Uh, colors they had available at the time and so that's what I got because I wanted them as quick as possible I think they do have other colors that being said you know I got one where's the second one well it's it's right here I just loaded it up <clears throat> and these eggs are from they're a little bit older too they're from 311 that's when I started this uh, well, I started in a regular egg carton so I could stack them, all that. And so they are a little older. But right now I don't have that many layers. So it's hard to come up with a fresh batch all at one time. Because I am pickling, pickling them for people and all that. So, yeah. I have noticed, and it's just made, it ain't nothing to do with the egg turner. Maybe more so with the nurture right. But right in the middle here i don't get i don't seem to have none of these hatch i don't know if it's too much heat or cool or what but right in the middle i don't hatch any so i was running out of eggs and so i took the rest from this middle and put over here on the outside edges and look we got our little striped uh egg color egg there and that, that's a pretty cool egg i can't um, now, granted, I don't know if egg color has nothing to do with what the chick looks like, but that's just a cool egg right there. All them Katornis quail eggs, and we got one barber stripe. So, so we're going to put these on. So I'm just going to put you right here. You can look at them. And the first couple of days, I generally do not add water. Because right now, at this point, we just need the heat. Water's for me get closer to the hatch rate, hatch day. Some people say if you go up a degree or two, that will make a difference. I've never seen that. But I'm, I ain't darn you. There we go. Now it's sealed. So right now, just as is room temperature. Uh, room percentage is 71. Temperature's coming up. I've got the vent on about halfway. And A and B is dry, except for a little bit of water that I use to rinse it out. All right, now, let's see. Okay. To change, to see the days. Now, we can't count this day. Because it, uh... You gotta give them at least 24 hours to warm up. So 99 and a half. Give it 19 days. And then so tomorrow evening this time will actually be the beginning of the incubation process. So it's warming up the temperature. And there, there will be, uh, see, Like 30, 
34 eggs in there. And so the rest of them, I've got to go pickle because somebody wanted an order of them. So I'm going to go do that. And I got to do some tax work. Ain't that fun. So y'all have a great day or a great evening and a better tomorrow. Later.